Hey there and welcome to our channel GadMod where we bring out to you the latest technology reviews of the latest devices in the market and today's video is all about one question is the OnePlus 5 smartphone still worth the buy after 6 months of its launch in the Indian market so if you are not able to offer the OnePlus 5 at the time of its launch and you are still planning to buy this beast but confused about it somewhere in the background then this video will certainly give you a clarity to it the first plus point in this phone is the software now the OnePlus 5 is definitely the fastest phone we have ever used and it certainly has the most drool worthy spec sheet of any phone out there especially in this price range. The Snapdragon 835 runs the show and it is a very good SoC along with being speedy and it's efficient and each phone that is powered by this uh, particular Snapdragon 835 does better than any other phone in terms of battery life and there is the Adreno 540 GPU which can comfortably handle any 3D game on the Google Play Store. So when these specifications wear an overcoat called the Oxygen OS, things get going towards the better side of the performance. Now this user interface contains some fancy items like the gesture options which will help you open certain applications which are gestured drawn on the locked screen. It also has the option for taking long scrolling screenshots which is helpful in most of the times. The second plus point, the fingerprint sensor. OnePlus has somehow managed to get one of the best fingerprint sensors in its new phone. Perhaps this technology is borrowed from the parent company which is Oppo, but OnePlus 5 is lightning fast to recognize the fingerprints and wake up. The sensor is beneath the screen at the bottom of the phone and it doubles as a home button also. Just a tap on the sensor is enough to get it going. It is faster and more accurate than the Galaxy S8 sensor and is truly impressive for this price. Coming to the final buying point of the phone which is the camera. The biggest change here is obvious there are now two lenses instead of one. <clears throat> they are laid out on the back of the phone just like the iPhone 7 plus. Slightly raised from the body and they even function in a similar way to the cameras on the Apple flagship. So the cameras in the OnePlus 5 is also somewhat on the similar fashion and one is your regular sensor which is a Sony IMX398 sensor with 16 megapixel and f1.7 lens and next to it sits the telephoto lens for 2x zoom which is a 20 megapixel with a much narrower f2.6 aperture. It is certainly an interesting setup and we definitely prefer a dual camera arrangement like this when we compare it with the Huawei's monochrome and RGB pairing. The high megapixel count captures very detailed shots that are full of color and vibrancy. One of the best features of the camera is the pro mode wherein you get the options to adjust the ISO, white balance, focus, contrast etc in a typical professional camera fashion. And the most coolest thing about this pro mode is the ability to shoot in raw format. This captures much more information than a regular shot foot and gives you a lot more power when manipulating the images in a post-processing program like Adobe Photoshop. Ever thought of capturing the whole picture into one single frame? The panorama mode is up for you with much more clarity and much more detailing. So if you are still confused whether to go ahead with this OnePlus 5, by looking at the other competitors in the market, we would suggest that you should go ahead with this beast without a doubt. If you like this video then do give a thumbs up to this video, share this video, put in your valuable comments in the comment section below, subscribe to our channel and most important of all do not forget to press the bell icon that is just beside the subscribe button so that you stay tuned to your latest update.